today we have our special guest Kavya here who is going to help us to understand in detail about the lucrative career in UI and UX. So Kavya, welcome to our podcast. Thank you. So Kavya, tell us a little about yourself, what you do exactly. Okay, so I am a product manager with Paytm as of now. I work with Paytm under the lending business. Okay. And uh, I work as a visiting faculty with Pearl Academy and I teach all the subjects that are related to UI and UX. Great. Currently, we see the rise in the opportunities in the field of UI and UX. Can you please help us understand what is UX, UI and UX exactly mean and uh, what kind of opportunities we have in this segment? Okay. So, like you rightly said, UI UX is a very, very upcoming field. Uh, UI, to be specific, is user interface design and UX is user experience design. Uh, though they go together, they both are very distinguished and very different uh, subjects and different, uh, I would say, lines of thinking into design. When we talk about user experience, that's UX, uh, it precisely means any action, any uh, journey from point A to point B and your experience while performing that journey or on that journey and how do you improvise that is a matter of UX okay. and UI is what you visually see during that journey is what is user interface because interface means where you interact with the user. Okay. So I would like to take an example. When we are, say, traveling by a cab from point A to point B, mm -hmm. your journey from point A to point B, you know, the road you take, uh, the kind of a cab you take, uh, how much time it takes for getting to point one and point two is your experience. Mm -hmm. What you see during your journey, visually, the interiors of the cab outside the window of the cab is what is the uh, interface. That's okay. UI. So from any journey, uh, be it physical, be it digital, uh, be it in terms of you writing something, something print, anything is a journey. Okay. So like, how do you explain you know, uh, rightly you explain what uh, use, user interface and user experience are. So, like, how do you explain the boom in the demand of this uh, segment in the market? Okay, now, uh, in the digital world, everything that you actually performed physically is now turning digitally. Yes. Uh, there was a time, say, about a decade back, then if you were to go from place one to place two and go by a cab or go by a bus, you will actually have to go to the bus station. You will have to go to the bus stop. You would probably have to go to the taxi stand, ask drivers, will you come with me to this place? They would say no. They would say yes. You would probably have to ask multiple people, then take it forward. Yeah. Okay. All that has also been optimized into an app where you just select I want to go from point A to point B and that cab will be under your house. Hmm. That experience that has been optimized has been done with a lot of digital intervention yes. and without an interface, without an app, without a website is not possible. So more and more people moving on the like to the online platform. So the automatically the demand for this segment is increasing. Absolutely. Right. So be it from booking a cab yeah. or ordering groceries, shopping, anything, any kind of services, even courier services for that matter, hmm. uh, train bookings, flight bookings, any kind of bookings that you do, you know, be it national, local, international. Without this ease hmm. of a platform that hmm. you call app or web, hmm. okay, is not possible. Correct. So the digitalization of a lot of services, the ease that it has got into our life hmm. 
is because of UX and UI. Correct. So in short, uh, can I summarize it by saying, uh, as there is a boom in the internet, so automatically a boom in the segment of UI and UX. Absolutely. Right? Yes. So like if I ask you personally, how did you get introduced to UI and UX? Like when did you think of uh, this thing? Okay, I'll be very honest. I I was never taught UI, mm -hmm. UX. Mm -hmm. uh, I have studied design. Uh, I've studied everything that falls under design, under communication design, graphic design, branding. Uh, UI, UX is a subset of design. Okay. It's a different application. Uh, I would not categorize it as a different subject. Okay, when I talk about design, uh, let's pick a logo. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about the McDonald's logo. Okay. The McDonald's logo is not just there outside the outlets. The logo is there on its packaging. It's there on its uh, trays. It's there on its website. It's there on its app. Uh, it's there on any ad that you see, digital or physical. Um, you see it in newspapers. You see them as a sponsor on multiple platforms. Now, it's irrespective of what place size it is used in, right? Mm -hmm. uh, the design of the logo does not change. The application changes. Right. That's what UI UX also is. Your core design principles don't change. It's just a different application onto a digital media. So when did you think, uh, you know, uh, when did you got this thought, okay, I want to go in this direction. How did you get attracted to this segment? Okay, so... Um, Maybe personally, personally, like when... So it happened when I was pursuing my master's. Uh, of course, I was not in India. I was... Uh, in the United Kingdom uh, I saw a lot of digital ad adoption even there more than what you see here of course because the western countries are a little more advanced when it comes to technology or digital adoption uh, I did see that you know everything turning into uh, a digital mode was far more advanced there Something as basic as ordering groceries that is, uh, you know, famous or popular in India now was something very popular over there eight, ten years back. Okay. Uh, or if I take another example, an only digital bank mm. with no physical branches mm. was something that was there eight, ten years back over there. Correct. But a complete digital branch in India or a digital bank per se is something that has come to India only a few years back. Yeah. Okay. Not that we are lacking behind, but the adoption of technology over there was far uh, faster early on. And that's where I realized that, you know, just sticking myself to graphic design or just the print media would not help because this is something that is going to be required for the tomorrow. Now, if I was to come back and I did come back to India, I knew that this is something that is going to be required in the next few years. My focus was UI UX. Okay. I was very sure that I want to get into digital media, uh, explore and employ all my graphic design skills onto a digital media platform. Hmm. So basically, you pursued your uh, like your education in in the segment of design, and then uh, you, I should say, uh, you focused on one segment of design. That's what uh, is it right if I say that? Uh, yes. Uh, okay. 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 Uh, not exactly because. Uh, or should if I ask you like, um, you were already aware of UI UX, and then yes. you choose to do designing, or it just came in your way. No, it it just came. Okay. When when I started college, there wasn't anything like UI UX. Okay. Uh, when I was pursuing my masters, yes, that awareness of a category or a segment 
you know, UI UX just was getting too flourish. Why I I'm say. asking this is because as our viewers are watching, you know, uh, obviously they'll be, you know, informed about this segment now. So you will be the best person to guide them to understand if they are going to start this journey, what will be the first step? Rather, you know, how you got introduced to UI UX, there must be some other, you know, uh, steps to follow okay. to get there. So what can be, you know, what is your advice and what is that path? Okay. First advice, I don't think y'all are a step away. Uh, I think y'all are already exposed a lot, knowingly or unknowingly. Uh, everyone watching the show is aware about UI UX because you are using a laptop or a computer or to the least a smartphone that has multiple apps that you're using day in and out. Yeah. The fact that you are savvy using these platforms itself shows that yes, you are aware of what happens under UI UX. You don't yes. just recognize it that this is UX. Yeah. The fact that, you know, you're using Facebook or WhatsApp or uh, Instagram, you know, you are clicking pictures, editing them, uh, uploading reels. This is an output of you understanding UX or UI. Hmm. If I if I put it in other way also, like nowadays people are using more digital uh, instruments or digital tools to do different things. Yeah. So uh, people are more aware of things. What could be, uh, what uh, what better changes, uh, you know, could have been there in that particular app. So somewhere they're also understanding, you know, what kind of experience they are, they are looking right. for. So like technically, uh, is designing as a educational background is needed for UI UX or experience itself is enough, you know, just to ask, you know, to understand. So uh, I would say, uh, if you can think design, it's not necessary. But if you want to gain your technical skills in terms of execution, yes, you need something. You okay. need a design background. Okay. Because tomorrow, if someone asks you, say, to design a logo, something as simple as a logo, hmm. not, say, an app, hmm. uh, you might have an idea of how it should look, maybe hmm. a font that should go on it, or the colors you want. Hmm. But till and then you can't do it, hmm. can't make it, hmm. and not on paper, digitally, hmm. how how would you use it? Hmm. So to make it is where you require those technical skills. Correct. That's where learning anything about design comes into play. Correct. But if I were to tell you that, you know, ideate a logo, yeah. think about what the name should be, yes. hmm. the tagline should be, hmm. that's any creative person. Yes. Who can conceptualize it? I was exactly coming to that point because uh, to execute what we are thinking, we definitely need some skills. Correct. What about the ideation part? Like, can a person have not studied design or he doesn't know particular uh, software to execute things, but still he is having that you know thought process, creative thought process? Can he be you know a person uh, who can drive this? forward in this segment absolutely so that means you're saying a person can be from any segment yeah and can pursue this career absolutely. are you saying that yes okay very much design is a very open subject okay. uh outlook for design is very open otherwise hmm. no two people are ever going to like the same thing yeah if you ask you know two different people or two different age groups to review an app mm. or say a website or even a poster, mm. I'm sure they'll have different opinions about it. Yeah. Design is so open-ended. So, yeah. and I am thoroughly of an opinion that there's nothing wrong in design. Mm. There can never be a right design or a wrong design. Yes. There's always scope of improvement. Mm. So why not? I mean, anyone who can think design can think of how to solve problems with design can get into this field before moving ahead i just want to tell our viewers guys this is very important news or important information that you should have you do, don't have to be 
you know a designer to have a career in this segment but definitely if you are uh, creative in your thoughts still you can pursue career in this segment right so Absolutely. make note of it